Hey guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a YouTube 2.0 background. Um, the first thing you're going to need is the template. Uh, I've put a link in the description of where you can download it. Uh, once you've downloaded it, just load it up in Photoshop and it will look something like this. The first thing we're going to do is go Layer, New, New Layer, click OK, and go to our Line tool. Now set the line colour to something that will stand out amongst your background. I've got mine at white. And then just hold shift and drag it down each side of the black box. It doesn't have to be exact. It can just be roughly along the side. This will just indicate what you'll be able to see on your YouTube background because the black is the bit that won't be seen because it will be behind your videos. And the blue is the bit that will be seen because it will be at the sides. Now the next thing we're going to do is go layer new layer and click OK. Drag it below our lines layer and set the colors to the colors you want your background to be. I'm going to have mine a darkish blue for the foreground and a black for the background. The next thing we're going to do is go filter render clouds it will look something like that, it doesn't look too good at the minute but we'll change it next we're going to go filter pixelate mesmotint and change it from fine dots to short strokes then click OK uh, now we're going to go filter again blur and add a radial blur um, you want the amount at 100 blur method zoom and quality at best and then you change you can change the blur center depending on your preference I'm going to have mine like in the middle and once you've got that done you're going to click OK and wait for it to render and look at that it looks a lot better already um, there's one more thing we can do we can go to filter and go distort and twirl and you can like twirl it to make it look a bit more distorted if you get what I mean um, although I don't particularly like that effect so I'm not going to do it, I'm going to hit cancel um, next we're going to add in a new layer again and this layer is going to be our highlight layer so just name it highlight and click OK make sure it's above your background layer and you want to go to the elliptical marquee tool just here OK, now you want to set your foreground colour to white, click OK, and just zoom out if you have to. With this we're just going to start from about up here and just drag it down so you get a nice curve about halfway down your page. Uh, once you've done that you can let go. And now we're going to go to the gradient tool, set the gradient style foreground to transparent, click OK and we're going to start the gradient at about here holding shift and dragging it down to just below the um, the selection once you've done that it will look something like that it's quite a nice highlight um, now we're going to um, add in some text so go to your text box and make a nice big text box here uh, type in your YouTube name any color you want you can change the color up here the size here uh, the font here um, I got this font from dafont.com it's a really useful website for downloading different fonts from okay so once you've typed that in we're going to go edit transform rotate 90 degrees clockwise and have it over at the side uh, over at the right hand side now I'm just going to zoom in to see it better and we can add some layer styles if you want I'm going to add a drop shadow to make it look a bit more 3D um, I mean you can mess around with these and like add bevelin in boss or outer glow, inner glow, whatever I'm just going to have a drop shadow though um, once I've got that I'm going to click OK and now to add a reflection to my text I'm going to 
duplicate the text layer by dragging the layer onto this button here and then I'm going to go edit transform rotate horizontally and that will bring me a replica that has been rotated horizontally um, from my previous layer so now I'm going to join the two here once I've done that I'm going to um, just drag my uh, rotated layer below my normal layer okay and then I'm just going to add a mask to this layer now what we're going to do is make sure you have a uh, foreground set to black background set to white and go to your um, gradient tool we're going to just um, have it set foreground to transparent and click OK and then starting about here just hold shift and draw a straight gradient and it will make um, it become like transparent it looks like it's been reflected so if I just zoom out there you can see it looks kind of reflected um, the next thing we're going to want to do is depending what your channel is about really you can use a different image but say my channel was musical I'd probably want to include a musical instrument or something so I've got my image here uh, it's a guitar just drag it onto your YouTube background it's a bit too big but I'll just fix that by hitting command or control T to transform it and now I'm just going to hold shift and scale it down a bit once I've done that I'll just place it where I want it really maybe transform it a bit more again okay so it looks good at the minute I'm going to apply that transformation and I know this bit of the guitar won't be seen but it will look alright anyway now I'm just going to zoom out to take a better look at my background by hitting Z on my keypad then holding down ALT and just clicking as you can see it looks alright at the minute um, there's still a couple more things we need to do uh, one of these being making a gradient for it to fade out from so we're going to go to our rectangular marquee tool and make quite a big selection down the bottom here now what you want to do is set your foreground color to black click OK and then um, go to our gradient tool right here you want it set foreground to transparent once you've done that click OK and inside the selection just inside we're going to hold shift and drag it up so it's so it's like this okay once you've done that you can just deselect the selection and it looks alright um, if you want you can add like effects to the guitar by double clicking and like adding a drop shadow maybe to make it stand out a bit more or I mean you could do bevelin in boss or outer glow but I'm just going to keep it at that for now and I mean you'll vary your images and everything you might add more images uh, you might just add more text or use more brushes I don't know um, but the last thing you're going to do is go over to your um, lines that we made earlier and turn them off by clicking the little eye icon here uh, once they've been turned off you want to save it save it as a JPEG so on format click on it and scroll down to JPEG and save it just to your desktop and click save now YouTube only allows you to upload backgrounds that are 256k or less so you're going to change the quality uh, so it's just under 256k okay I'm going to set my quality to 8 which is quite a high quality then I'm just going to hit OK and once it's saved you're finished thank you for watching my tutorial on how to make a YouTube 2.0 background I hope it's helped you guys and remember to subscribe